Good morning and welcome to the Tuesday morning devotional for the First United Methodist Church of Maumel. I'm Aubrietta Jones and I'm glad to get to share this time with you. I want to share with you a few things that are happening as uh, the, the summer is coming toward us quickly. This Sunday we have Mother's Day and for Mother's Day we have a gift for all women over the age of 18 and also all mothers because we're celebrating the contributions of women on Mother's Day and uh, as well as people who are biologically or by adoption mothers and grandmothers and aunts and stepmothers and um, it's gonna be a great day that's May the 8th if you did not know you need to know that that's when Mother's Day is and then additionally on May 15th we have Confirmation Sunday and we have youth that are joining our church that day it's gonna be an exciting day for all of us to get to share in Confirmation Sunday and in Mother's Day and it won't be long before VBS is here and we're excited about that as well and the United Methodist Men's Ken Watson Golf Tournament is coming and that's gonna be great too so lots is going on that is just wonderful it's an exciting time to be a part of First Church and we're proud of all that we get to do together <coughs> I want to share with you, following up on our sermon series, we have a sermon series that's going on called This Was Us, and we're looking at ancient passages in scripture and seeing ourselves. And yesterday we talked about jealousy, envy, and rivalry, and the effects of those feelings. And I wanted to read for you today from Proverbs 27, 17, a scripture that we have taken to mean friendship for a long time, but it might mean a little bit more than that, uh, or a little bit more, uh, there might be a more ambiguous meaning. Perhaps I should say, Psalm, uh, Proverbs 27, verse 17 says, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Many of us could probably recite that Bible verse without looking at a Bible. When we consider all of the things that are, <clears throat> that are part of our friendships, I hope that all of our friendships lead us to excellence. Um, I hope that all of our friendships lead us to be better than we are right now. However, this particular verse is more complicated than saying that one friend spurs another friend on to doing their very best. For years I've preached it and I understood it in that way, but I read a commentary not too long ago, <clears throat> and this commentary actually was by uh, some Hebrew scholars, and they pointed out all the different times in the Old Testament that when somebody sharpens their face, that means that they get a sharp or corrective look on their face. Um, when they are, uh, are sharpened against another person, oftentimes that includes a feeling of annoyance. So sometimes we have to acknowledge that people spur us on to be our best and seek excellence because we are annoyed at them and our motivations may not be the very best. <clears throat> and yet this is human nature that this happens. Um, and I thought it was fitting to discuss this as we talked about envy and jealousy and rivalry this past Sunday. When I think about this, I think about the value of competition. Um, we do not have to feel angry or resentful toward the people that we are competing with when we are in different kinds of competition, when we're trying to get the job of our dreams and a bunch of others are competing as well, when we're trying to get that promotion at work, when we're trying to um, compete in sports or some other venue where the competition is required, our kids, when they're on the speech and debate team and they, and they compete with others, we don't have to have that sense of rivalry with another person, that sense of bitter competition. But at the same time, to me, this is an observation in the book of Proverbs of human nature. And the fact of the matter is, when we are trying to, to be the best self we can be, and there is somebody else that we are competing with, uh, as long as it doesn't hurt our opinion of ourselves, 
as long as we are not encouraged to do something dishonest, there is a positive aspect to competition. Even when there's a little bit of a negative feeling within ourselves, there is a positive aspect to that because we end up getting new ideas <clears throat> for how to be our best based upon another person's actions. Um, we are uh, we are spurned on to greater creativity in our endeavors. And it's just interesting to me that Proverbs notices this, that when iron sharpens iron, one person sharpens another. There have been a number of times in Scripture when people had a disagreement and they split company and they ended up doing great things. I think about Paul and Barnabas, two great friends in the book of Acts, who um, had different visions for their ministry. They worked side by side. Barnabas helped Paul acclimate himself into the Christian faith after Jesus had appeared to Paul. But they had an argument <clears throat> about a young man named uh, John Mark. And uh, John Mark was not, Mark was not willing to go with them on one of their journeys. He kind of turned around and went back. And Barnabas, being the encourager, felt led to help him continue to develop and give him another chance, and Paul did not have that feeling. Now, were either one of them wrong? Truthfully, beloved, I don't think either one of them were wrong. I think that Barnabas had the giftedness to help the young man, and I think Paul was an evangelist to the core, and they had to part company to flourish and to flower and to do the things that they were called to do. So I, I, that's an interesting thing to consider, what kinds of companionship we have with others and and uh, in what ways we spur others on and um, also how we feel about competition and how we respond to competition. Do we look at making ourselves the best we can be? Uh, do we, do we <clears throat> become hard-hearted toward that other person um, or does our rivalry stay in check and we actually reach for what we need to reach for to be who we are supposed to be. I think that's an interesting way to look at all of this, uh, these topics and all of these scripture passages. And so it's great to see you all joining in this morning. I've seen Faye and I've seen Peter and I think there are some others on there that maybe your names have scrolled through. And um, it's great to get to have this time together. I do wanna say if it breaks your heart too badly <clears throat> that uh, that passage from Proverbs may not necessarily be about great friends daring one another to great feats. There are numerous passages in scripture where that happens. And um, we're going to be talking about a few of those uh, in, the, <clears throat> in the summer, I think. There's some of them coming up. But for now, I want to leave you with Ecclesiastes, which I think shares a great picture of bondedness among uh, friends in the battle of this life. And it says... Uh, it says in verse 9, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls down and has no one to help them. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not easily broken. And so... I don't know if the audio is back now or not, but we're going to go ahead and pray. God, we thank you and praise you for your faithfulness and your love. We pray, God, that you guide and eat and direct each one of us into the callings you've given us. 
Help us to be your servants. Help us to be faithful to you in all of life's ups and downs. We pray, God, that you would speak clearly into our lives, give us clarity and wisdom about all of the things that you have called us to do. And we ask, oh God, that you would bless those that are part of our devotional time, either when it is being offered live or in the days ahead. We pray that you would bless that person right where they are and give us wisdom and discernment for everything that we must do. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen, my friends. I hope that the I hope that the video or audio came back. And if it did not, I guess I'll have a big laugh when I watch the video a little bit later before posting it. Uh, I see Nancy's joined us. Good morning, Nancy. Um, our um, our prayers are with all of of our friends here on this devotional and on those the people that will be watching later this week. And we want to be that that cord of three strands. Uh, we want to be that cord of many strands that blesses and holds one another up in the faith and uh, helps one another uh, to be uh, to be the best we can be. Take care and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.